Hello, this is Pete from Essex Ham, and in this short video, we're taking a look at the 2024 license changes announced by Ofcom. The changes are rolling out in three phases, and phase one is now live as of the 21st of February this year. The headline news, of course, is from the 21st of February 2024, we have power increases. Foundation goes from 10 to 25 watts on most bands. Intermediate goes from 50 to 100 watts, again on most bands, and full goes up to 1 kilowatt on primary bands. Also, for the first time, air is allowed, so you can operate airborne at 0.5 watts EIRP on the primary bands. Of course, I'm sure you're aware that you're required to complete an EMF assessment for your station. Now that we have higher power limits, you're now required to update your EMF assessment. Some other changes, looking at call signs, the RSLs, that's the Regional Secondary Locator, so the W for Wales, the M for Scotland, the I for Northern Ireland, etc., are now optional, with the exception of the intermediate two call signs where you still need the letter, i.e. 2E0 for England. This has been a rather controversial change and many people are unhappy about it, but of course this is optional, so for those that do want to carry on using the Regional Secondary Locators, you still can, we're not losing anything. We do have one gain, at foundation and full, you can now optionally use an E. For example, ME0QQQ, or for foundation, ME7QQQ is now allowed. And you can now use any suffix, so you'll be aware of the slash M, slash A and slash P, you can now use any suffix. For example, M0QQQ slash garden, perfectly allowable now. Going forward, new applicants will only be allowed to hold one personal call sign. More on that in a few minutes. And we're seeing the rollout of M8 and M9 call signs for intermediate. The next change affects supervision. On the screen here, you can see the new license condition. Under the old rules, you could only supervise those that had an amateur radio license, but that has now changed, so you can now supervise someone that doesn't have a license at all. Of course, once you are supervising someone, whether they have a license or not, you must ensure that they are fully aware and fully comply with the license conditions. Of course, they'll have to use your call sign, and you're still responsible for making sure that they comply with the rules. So if you do supervise someone that doesn't have a license, and they break a license condition, that comes down to you. There is a lot more flexibility for those that use beacons, gateways and repeaters, and also some clarification around the rules of remote and unattended operation. They're on the screen now, but do check out the new license to get the full details. There are also some changes to the maritime mobile rules, which now allow more flexibility for foundation and intermediate to operate at sea. These are covered by condition four in the new license. There's also the addition of something called a data station, and this has caused a little bit of confusion. On the screen here, you can see the data station operation rule, which is clause 17. Some have taken this to mean that if you're using a data mode, such as FT8 or SSTV, you are restricted to five watts ERP, as it says in the rules. There does appear to be some confusion about this, and the wording of the license doesn't really help, but if you look at the guidance document that came out with the license, you'll see that a data station is intended for machine-to-machine -machine operations that carry third-party amateur radio traffic. So that would be packet, or APRS, or data trunk links, and RF mesh networks. So despite the license looking like you can't use FT8 at 5 watts, that's not what's intended here. Some welcome changes for foundation. Those with a foundation license can now build their own equipment, including transmitters. And foundation has access to 2.4 gig and 5 gig, subject to a maximum of two watts. As I said at the start of the video, the changes have come in from now, the 21st of February, 2024. Ofcom has announced that it will take a little while to get all the licenses sent out to everyone. According to Ofcom, there are 100,000 new licenses that will need to be issued. Although the rules have come into effect now, it will take until autumn 2024 before all of the licenses get reissued. So that's phase one. Now we can look at phase two, which is due for later in 2024. Here we'll see the two call signs for intermediate being replaced with M8 and M9. At the moment, this is optional. If you want to keep your two call sign, you can. 
but the hope is everyone will move to M8 and M9. And later this year we can expect simplified rules for special event call signs, that's the GB call signs. And again in phase two we can see restrictions on the number of call signs held. That will be one personal call sign only and for clubs a maximum of five call signs. And a quick look at phase three. This is due for later in 2024-25. So phase three is expected by the end of March 2025. Here we can see revoking of the lower class licenses. So if you hold multiple personal call signs, you will be limited to just one and the others will be revoked. There'll be a new licensing platform. This will allow for improved online validation. And in theory, you can change your call sign every five years if you want. The controversial one here is the reissuing of old call signs after five years. And that does include call signs for people who've gone silent key. So that's it, that's the headlines for the changes. A very quick look at how that affects the exams. If you're studying for an exam at the moment, the news is that the new syllabus and the new exams start on the 1st of September, 2024. So until August the 31st, the old license conditions as they are now will be examined. This does of course bring up some problems for those of you that are training for an exam between now and September. On the screen here, you can see a fictitious training slide for a July course. Whereas a trainer will be required to tell you that taking your exam before September, the answer might be no, but after September, the answer will be yes. There is some scope for some confusion there. So again, at the moment, the exams are on the old syllabus, even though the new license conditions are in, and exams will cover the new license conditions starting from the 1st of September, 2024. We are creating a separate video for those of you on a training course, so look on our YouTube channel for the video available for students. Originally, it was expected that exams would switch over in April of 2024, but the RSGB seems to have been caught by surprise on this one, and they've asked Ofcom for an extension to September. Being honest, we're not particularly keen on this idea as it does leave a period of about six months of confusion. The RSGB tried to spin it, saying we've had some positive feedback about how this will affect students and trainers. We didn't believe that, so we ran our own poll and 79% didn't agree with the RSGB that this was a good move. So that's it, our short look at the 2024 license changes announced by Ofcom. And again, phase one starts now from the 21st of February, 2024. If you've got any questions, go to the Essex Ham website and add a comment to our story or add a comment on YouTube. Thanks for watching and enjoy the new license, 73. This feature was brought to you by Essex Ham.